fighting the enemy with the power of God. That's our topic. Today we're coming from verse uh, Songs 103, 2 through 3. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget now all his benefits, who forgive all your sins and heals all your disease. If the enemy can make us depressed and have high anxiety and have us second guess every thought he has, he has us. If he can keep us in bed and not want to go to church, he won. We must speak to our soul and say, soul, we are going to get through this, but we must trust in God to pull us through. Because if you don't speak to yourself and tell your emotions, you won't allow them to overtake you. You won't allow it to reap havoc in your life and you will remain stuck. Honestly, it's not the emotions you are speaking to. You're speaking to the enemy behind the emotions. But if you don't learn to push past the broken moments and the rushing thoughts, you will forever remain stuck. Some of us wish for specific opportunities to come our way to be better, or we have certain situations happen again and again, and we swear we would do something different. Still, the enemy has us stuck in the endless loop. My friends, to speak to that loop, you must ask God to give you the authority and speak against it and rebuke it. The devil has you powerless. He has you fearing the future. He has you thinking it, it isn't one. But God is here to say today, you have a future. You have power. You have strength. You have all these things because the moment you become a child of God, you, he has endowed you with power from on high. But it's up to you to accept it, the call. Psalms 103, 2 through 3. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And who forgive not all your sins and heals all your diseases. You see, in this verse, David is talking to his soul. He's telling his soul to praise God. He's telling his soul, don't forget all the benefits God has given you. He's, he spoke to his soul to speak life to it because when the enemy starts planting seeds, he plants seeds of defeat. He's planting seeds of doubt. And when we speak to life to ourselves and, and over other things and other situations, we are giving ourselves a dosage of God. That's what God has given us the power to do, to speak life. In verse 4 of that chapter, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. See, David knew that sometime when we sit on what the devil says and we allow our emotions to go out of control, we find ourselves in a pit. But when we speak love and compassion in our lives, that's the power of God. Don't go another day without speaking life into yourself. It's nice to have a pastor or a mentor or a prophet or to speak victory or words of life in you. But when these people aren't around, we must do it ourselves. God has given us the same power. All we have to do is ask God, give me the power to speak life into myself. And he will give you your words and he will show you scriptures to help you help you overcome any even affirmations. I am more than a conqueror. I am not fear. I would not fear evil. Psalms 23 and 4. I am heard by God, Psalms 116 and 1 through 2. God is my helper, Psalms 121, 1 through 2. God makes me strong, Psalms 138 and 3. I speak these words into your life every day because we can be more than a conqueror when we are conquering our emotion, emotions every day. Tell God, I need you to strengthen me emotionally. Heal my brokenness and he will heal you. Heal me. I cried out every day because I didn't understand. I didn't understand why my emotions were breaking me down. And when God told me it's the enemy that is trying to make you feel like I am wrong, but the change about the change that's doing in your life, I said, God, I understand. He says, speak to him and rebuke him. Strength is in the power of the tongue. There is power in the tongue. But if you're not speaking and you remain silent, how can you ever fight a battle if you won't even raise your sword? Raise your sword, open your mouth and read your word and allow God to give you what you need. Allow God to be who he is to you. Do you know what makes a boxer a boxer? And what makes a boxing bag a boxing bag? A boxing bag won't move. It only moves a little when it's hit. But a boxer will move and hit when it's being hit. It will bob and weave. A boxer won't stand in one place and continue to allow themselves to be hit. You must become a boxer. You must become a fighter against the enemy. And to do that, we must place ourselves before the Lord. We must read our word. We must stay connected to God so we can have the fight in us like a boxer. Because as long as we stay in one place... We become a boxing bag for the enemy. Don't be a boxing bag. Become the fighter you are inside and rebuke the devil. And he must flee. Our prayer today. Father God, in the name of Jesus, help us to overcome our darkest moments and our most profound hurt. 
as we walk in another day, you have given us the strength to walk in your presence, Lord. And we also so deeply want to be in your presence and know more of you in your greatness. Father, give us the drive and a want to do better, Lord. We can fight. We can't fight the enemy on our own. But Lord, give us the right words to use against the enemy, Father. Please give us power from on high to fight the enemy, Lord. We thank you so much for everything you have given us. Lord, thank you for giving us grace upon grace. Thank you for loving us beyond what we deserve. Lord, fix every situation in Jesus' mighty name. Our reference, Psalms 138 and 7. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies. And your right hand will save me. Psalms 35 and 5. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord and shall rejoice in his salvation. Psalms 35 and 9. Psalms 37 and 39. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Psalms 37 and 39. For further reading, 1 John 3, James 5, and Acts 14. These are the affirmations that I spoke about. I'm going to go over it one more time. I will not fear evil, Psalms 23 and 4. I am heard by God, Psalms 116, 1 and 2, 1 through 2. God is my helper, Psalms 121, 1 through 2. God makes me strong, Psalms 138 and 3. So today, if you feel like the enemy is just coming after you over and over, and you feel like you're stuck, you're not. Ask God for the authority to speak against the spirit that is fighting against you. Ask God to, to give you the, the wisdom to know how and what verse to use against that spirit. Don't sit there and allow the enemy to continue to plant seeds in your mind that you're worthless, that you're not needed, and that you're not loved. Because you're loved. You're worthy of everything. Remember that you're beautifully made and by his hands. I hope you're blessed and I hope you're safe. Thank you for listening.